Fear not, fear not, child of the Most High God. You know, God is calling us to a place where we are not bound or put in confinement because of fear. Some people, they fear death because of what's happening, you know, in our world that we live. Some people, they fear for their future, that what's going to happen to me? They are fearing that, am I going to get married? They're fearing that, am, am I going to get a job? Am I going to have a child? People fear different things. People fear the unknown. People fear different phobias. But there are things that feed our fear. Sometimes it's because of things that have happened to others, past experiences, both others and uh, in our own lives. And also there are things that we see. What are you seeing when you look at the statistics, when you read the different things, even what you also hear? When you start to hear that a third wave is coming, vaccination and all this, all those things, they feed our fear. But the thing that will help us to be able to make sure that we are not put captive with these different types of fears, we need to pursue the presence of God. In the presence of God, uh, there's fullness of joy because God said, fear not for I am with you. As long as you are close to God, you're, you are okay. But when you begin to be fearful, it's an indication that you are far away from God. So there's someone I'm encouraging that, you know what, you need to pursue to make sure that you are close to God. You need to pursue to have faith in God. You need to pursue that this is our year for us to hear the voice of the Lord. As we hear the voice of the Lord, as we hear what he's saying, he will show us what we are supposed to do. He will tell us what we are supposed to do. And the last thing is we need to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is actually the antidote of all these other fears. Because the fear of the Lord brings long life. The fear of the Lord is the fount fountain of all life. The fear of the Lord preserves our lives. So I'm encouraging you that as we fear the Lord, as we allow him to be number one in whatever we do, God will help us to be able to master all the other fears that hinder us to become all that God wants us to be. Otherwise, have a blessed day and may you be protected as you fear his name. That's the only thing you are supposed to fear. God bless you. Amen. Amen.